include a of changing since the changing army, on the game and changing old school, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Malady of Memories, which hopefully this might be the final episode. Now let's get to do something. in order to get to the final final ward so wasn't my best. Hey, but hey, I got 69! Yeah, this is actually going to be kind of a short video, too. I guess I could do a little bit of revising of my review on the series as a whole. While we're getting near the end of this. Um, this way to put it well describe it is that Kingdom Hearts, to me, at least, uh, my first ever introduction, which was, uh, Believe it or not, Chain of Memories. Kind of whacking my brain here going back to the various other games. Chain of Memories was actually my first ever real introduction to the series as a whole. And 
for the most part. It's kind of what more of a thing that I really, yeah, say, kind of really enjoy because, to be told, it, can, it had a lot of twists and turns in it, and a lot of real actual good storylines in it. Especially going like with each uh, character, like Soa and Riku, both of them kind of having their own struggles. And even like some uh, good fairy, uh, like old childhood memories from watching like old cut, the old movie that I remember. I mean, my granny, granny, well, well, where I live right now, granny doesn't actually remember some of them. I mean, stuff like uh, Little Mermaid, uh, Hercules, Disney Hercules, mind you, the the one that actually came out. Uh, what else? Uh, Peter Pan. Uh, at least around the tail end of the it. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Now, that was a Barry Jason on, on it. Same with, uh, Hercules. That was kind of a Barry Jason on it. Um, and a bunch of other things. The mechanics of each game, I did like. If I were to say, like, what my, what the worst mechanic is, in terms of games, like in terms of their mechanics. Uh, Chain of Memories is the worst of them. In terms of... Best Mechanic? Probably the one for the best mechanic. Might actually be probably Kingdom Hearts 3. It, I mean, it actually have like a lot, and I do mean a lot of mechanics in it, such as well the form changes and the thought lock, and getting like a lot of things in there that I really did enjoy. If I was to go mid here, mid here would probably need to use up distance for the um for like how you get your stats. If you're only gonna like go like with synthesis and stuff like that, the best one for that would be of course uh Burst by Sleep, which I did enjoy. I did enjoy Burst by Sleep. It, ha it was actually pretty good. And I mean, I did like what I actually had for the, um, for the description. Three Keyblade set before the events of Kingdom Hearts. Three Keyblade builders tell their story. These connecting to a final battle of the set of the events. I do remember where this one is. This one's actually where you get that blue keyblade thing. Now, as I said, I don't know if those were actual people. Like, those, those names were actual usernames in the game, or if they were just made up usernames uh, for the mobile game that came out, which was Kingdom Hearts Unique Spark. Keep in mind, I may or may not play that at some point. I probably won't play it because I'm not that much of a mobile gamer. But then again, I say that when I play AFK Arena. But as I said, a lot of what Kingdom Hearts was, was in itself. I get a lot of, a little bit of lessons is here and there about pretty well the feelings of a heart and that we're all connected. Even if we're like miles away or something like that, there's probably somebody out there thinking of you. I don't necessarily care about the missions on that. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. It all unfolded just as the Book of Prophecies foretold. But Sora refused to give up. His heart persisted against all odds. He used the power of waking, and fought long and hard to save his friends. 
And so, the Light's defeat was overwritten, and the Guardians of Light reassembled at the Keyblade Graveyard. The deciding battle with the true Organization 13 was about to begin. As the battle raged, Terra, Roxas, and Shion were revived and joined the Guardians of Light. But Master Xehanort still succeeded in summoning the true Kingdom Hearts. To stop Kingdom Hearts from unleashing its power, Sora went to the ancient city of Keyblade wielders, Scala at Kailum, and the final battle began. As the fierce struggle ended, Master Xehanort gave up the Keyblade and abandoned his plans. Kingdom Hearts was sealed away. But it was still far from over. I had disappeared during the battle, and Sora was determined to bring me back. He set off on his journey once more, alone. What's happening? And just when things were going well. Something's wrong. Shut it down. <sighs> this place...
This world will be engulfed in darkness. Everything you care about, and everyone you love. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours. You see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Like most, you probably believe that nothing exists outside of this world you live in. And yet, there are countless other worlds. You can see them sparkle brilliantly in the night sky. Through that sea of stars, fate will guide your ship to where you are meant to be. However, if you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. If that happens, you must abandon your search. We have failed. Notice the twist yet? Not white. The entirety of this would actually Kylie actually trying to find Soa. lot of dot to kind of digest here. Like, what exactly was his plan? Who are you? Show your face! <gasps> Not so fast, my dear. You're the one who keeps messing with my fate. 
If it weren't for everything that you've done, then Sora and everyone would be safe. Even if you're not really here, and this is just a memory or illusion, I won't let you walk away. You're right, I set you adrift in another world and drastically alter the course of your fate. In the end, you were destroyed by my hand, paving the way for Sora's disappearance. <sighs> You've become quite the Keyblade wielder. For a retired master, yes, it prepared you remarkably well. <laughs> this world was created from the memories contained within your heart. You seek clues to Sora's whereabouts by using your memories of him to search through your own heart. But there's nothing for you to find here. I'm afraid the answer you seek lies in memories that are long gone. <laughs> Joined us. This uh, somehow makes no sense. I legitimately don't quite understand this. As I thought, your voice can't reach us here. Now I'm certain of where your heart is. got a good chunk of your health, if you're not good. Whereas it didn't this time, oh well that is one of the attacks that he will do in the in Kingdom Hearts 2, the actual game. He will do that attack. If you're not careful, you can take out a good chunk of your health.
Thank you, Sora. On the day that I sent you out from your world, do you remember what it is I said to you? Those words hold the answer you seek. I may cause you to suffer, but I am a product of your heart. For that reason, I shall give you your answer. Before, when my heart and body were still united as one, I told you about what would happen if we were to fail. If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. That is the answer I have for you. What does that mean? Exactly. Get, but now, now that gives uh, like some questions. Like, I want to, what's going on here? If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. Yes, he said that's the answer. Not of light or darkness, but on the other side? I've never heard of a place like that. Something else he said perplexes me. Your voice can't reach us. I'm certain of where your heart is. Hmm. You would assume that he's referring to the realm of darkness, but... That clearly isn't the case here, wouldn't you say? Where voices can't reach. The other side of our world. Of reality. Unreality. A fictional world? Fictional? Hmm. I'm afraid such mysteries are beyond our comprehension. Maybe Mickey or Master Yen Sid knows. Any news? Huh. Riku! Oh, Kairi, you woke up. Yeah, just now. How come you're here? Well, actually, I found some info about Sora. Really? We got something too. You did? Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Oh, excuse me, dears. I certainly didn't mean to startle you. If you're not expecting magic, it can be a surprise. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Now then, I am the Fairy Godmother, and it's a pleasure to meet you all. <sighs> she came here at Yen Sid's request. He said she's got a clue that might help us find Sora. Yen Sid sent you? That's right. To find Sora, we need three keys. First, Riku, and then, of course, there's you, dear Kairi. Okay. With Riku's dreams and Kairi's memories, you two have already done your part. Kairi's memories? Yes. We performed an examination of Kairi's heart and obtained an important clue from the lost memories it contains, which is that there's another world on the other side of ours that's not of darkness or light. Riku, what did you dream? Oh, well, since Sora disappeared, I've been having dreams about a large city with tall buildings. Apparently, that's the clue. A city? Maybe that's what Xehanort was talking about. A fictional world. A fictional world? Yes, perhaps. The three realms of our world. Light, 
darkness and between. These are all places we can travel to, because they are on our side. This also includes the worlds of memories, data, and dreams. If I am correct, then this other side of our world, from which voices cannot reach, must be a place outside of our reality. Namely, it must be unreality, or fiction. But that is the extent of our knowledge. <sighs> so I thought we should go to Mickey and Master Yen Sid to ask about it. Mm, I'm not quite sure they'll be able to help you, my dear. Then what now? Oh, you forget. There are three people who hold the key. There's still one more. One with a strong will and a very precious dream. Who is it? You'll see. I'll introduce you. Huh? Whoa. This place. You know it? Yeah. I came here with Sora, and also in my dreams while I slept. This is... the final world. But there's no one here. That's not true. Why don't you look closer? Hmm... Huh? The stars. I never noticed. Yes. Strong hearts gather here after death, until they are ready to move on. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. She? The final key. Huh? you. We've been searching all over for you, my dear. Do I know you? I'm Kyrie. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're all able to retain your appearance in this world. I met someone else who could do that. Uh, so she's the final key? That's right, dear. Now we finally have all three. But how exactly can she help? It's simple. She came from the world on the other side. What? Huh? You see, she's very special. Her form was taken from her, but she managed to find her way here. If she goes back to her world, her heart will certainly be stolen. Right, dear? Oh, yes. It seems you know a lot about me. <laughs> a little. And I would use my magic to change you back if I could. But I'm afraid that's impossible while you're in this form. Don't fret, though. I believe that we'll find a way to make your dream come true very soon. My dream? Come true? I want to help make that happen. Will it lead us to Sora? Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple. First, we must get to her world. She can open a path for us, and you can use the power of waking to go there. The power of waking? Sorry, but did I hear you say Sora? Huh? Wait, do you know him? Yes. He was here. 
He encouraged me not to give up. Did something happen to him? Yeah. Sora disappeared. He's a good friend of ours. So we've been looking for him. Mm. Right now, we think he's in a big city full of tall buildings. Ring any bells? A city full of tall buildings? Quadratum? Huh? It has more skyscrapers than any other city I know. That must be it. Quadratum. Is that where Sora is? There's no way of knowing. But I believe it is possible. All right. Think you can help us? I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But if Sora is in trouble, I want to help. Please let me know what you need from me. Thanks. I'm afraid this is as much as I can do. It's up to you, Riku, to take care of the rest. Hmm. I want to go. Kyrie, that's not. <sighs> yeah, I know. I want to go with you. But. I know that I can't. I need to finish training. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. Good. But first, I'll go explain everything. To Donald and Goofy, and to Mickey and Master Yen Sid. <laughs> <laughs> be careful out there, dear. And try not to do anything too reckless. Come straight back if you encounter any trouble. I will. And that's Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memories. I gotta say, this was actually a pretty good game. I, I will say, yes, I know it is a wisdom game, but it does give like some context to at least, I guess, like Kyrie's side of the story as well as also I guess they talking about like from I guess say a little bit about who Xehanort was about um, this per se, but in terms of, I guess, a wisdom game, 
it was a really great rhythm game. I really did enjoy it. I will say that uh, the um, missions are a little... I guess say a little hard to actually do in terms of uh, what they are. Plus also at the same time, it could be just me that I'm not great with uh, my reaction. And as you see, I'm, I'm getting some grips here, but... Regardless though, one thing I will, uh, I guess they say a big part of this is that it did bring back a lot of really, really great tracks from the series as a whole. Now, I might look up this Quadratum. Find out like what exactly this quadratum is. Oh, in terms of the um, teams, they don't really do a whole lot. Other than you can basically have like a specific team for a specific song or something like that. Also, I think that might be actually one of the first time, uh, maybe not the first time, but one of the few times I've actually seen like a spin-off game be directly connected to a series. I don't know any other games that have like a, uh, any sort of like good spin-off that are directly connected. I will leave a link uh, in the description of this game to at least the uh, PC version of the game. Because uh, this is actually being played on actual hardware right now. I'm actually legitimately recording it on a PS4. You wouldn't necessarily know that because the, you can play the game on Epic, it instantly detects which controller you But if you just going into, I guess, a uh, menu there, so it's going to be a four, give you an idea as to
You have a post credit scene? Riku went alone? But that's way too dangerous! I have to go after him now! Do not be hasty, Mickey. But Master Yen said, he's all alone in a world we know nothing about. Precisely. We have never faced something like this before. Which is why we must remain calm. But... Kyrie, this information you bring us, it comes from Xehanort during his time as a researcher? Yes. Then that means he must have been aware of this other world for quite some time. But we defeated Xehanort. Is there anybody else we can ask? Hmm. When I was still serving as a Keyblade Master, it was known that the Ancient Masters had crossed over into another world. I surmised that Xehanort looked more deeply into that world. The Ancient Keyblade Masters? For now, we must reach out to those in Radiant Garden. The Land of Departure and Twilight Town who are searching for Sora to inform them of what we have learned and have them halt their respective efforts. Donald, Goofy, I leave this to you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And Kyrie, will you continue your training as you were before? Actually, I'd like to study under Master Aqua. That is an excellent idea. I approve. Thank you. And you, Mickey. Yes! I task you with the investigation of this new world and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin in the world of Scala Ad Kailum. And that's uh, the end of the game. I will say at least to this as, well, I think probably anybody will probably already know this by this point, is that, um, it does give like some indications as to what Scala Arcalium might have or something like that, but it's never given any more context. And, uh, I got a little bit of time here. I'll show you this. Versus battle. This is something you can do. You do get an achievement if you manage to do a combat. And it's a very simple on what you do with this.
it's a sense of we we prefer theater system uh theater rhythm Final Fantasy for the uh, calm. That's basically what this is. I do better than your opponent. It's easier than the first, but then it gets harder and harder. I never got the achievement for this. I probably never will. That's it. That's the entirety of Book Kingdom Hearts. Malady of Memories. I, as I said, I did enjoy actually playing this, even when I first got it. I think of it as a, it's a nice little wisdom game that supposedly it's a connection to the series as a whole. Anyway, with that all being said, thank you so much for watching me play through Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. A link to the well, PC version of this game will be uh, in the link in the description below. Also, subscribe if you want to check out any other videos I've done in the past, or to stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Comment down below what you think of this game, or if you have another game you want me to check out on the channel, be sure to let me know. Till next time, stay 20% cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.